do you ever have, have you had yourself coming down to decide between two people? Do you ever have there being like a deciding factor that when you just can't make up your mind between two, is there something you'll, you'll always go to in that situation? There's actually probably quite a few, but the first and foremost would be, um, I am not accepting to heavy handing, heavy handling of a dog inside the ring. Um, if I've ever seen somebody um, frustrated with a dog, hit the dog or anything like that, it's a done deal in my head. But I've watched um, out of the corner of my eye while I'm paying attention. If I have somebody in mind, I will kind of side angle glance a few times and I'm not looking for them to be standing there with the perfect erect dog, not with a foot out of place. I'm actually watching how they're focusing on the situation. Are they paying attention to what the other juniors are doing? Are they paying attention to where the dogs are being stacked in front? Are they um, paying attention to their dog and working their dog as well? but that they're not doing that robotic stand the whole time, take three steps forward, stand again, three steps forward, that they're kind of doing what they're supposed to do. They're gonna come in, handle the dog, present the dog as um, it should be presented so that the overall picture is a nice and pleasing picture to look at while they're handling through the situation. So there's a few times that I would sit there and look at the lineup and watch the behaviors of the juniors that we're working through it. And I have to tell you, most juniors, when they're hitting the higher classes, they give you almost faultless performances. They're, there's, we're not technically supposed to change up patterns and things like that on them. Um, but you're honestly breaking it down to who's got the connection, who's doing the handling. And that's where my mind takes me towards the end as I'm making those decisions. And so explain, can you explain connection? What are you seeing it, when you're seeing a good connection? Um, I've seen the, um, I've done this and I'm bored and I'm doing everything they're asking connection. So generally at that point, you know, it's the house pet um, probably goes to every handling class and there's no the eye connection is just not there. There's no sparkle. Um, dog did everything it's asked. Junior does everything it's asked, but the pizzazz is missing. And that's that root of that connection because they're forgetting the timing of the reward. And the worst thing is juniors that will hear, oh, if you, the, the person is looking for a good relationship with the dog, you watch them petting their dogs and you know, it's not real. There's, there's, <laughs> That dog. <laughs> and I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, there's an honest connection and that's what ends up missing when the intensity for those juniors, when it's counting towards Westminster or just it's getting down to the wire and it burns out and then they start not doing as well. So it's, I hate to say it, it, stand, it shows, it definitely shows. I love what you're saying because it actually brings to mind a new favorite word of mine and, and that being authenticity. And it's, it's one of the reasons why, you know, many of us loves do love dogs because mm -hmm. they're very authentic and mm -hmm. their emotions and where they're at. And you being a true and true dog person, you can spot authenticity. And oh, when yeah. someone is, you know, putting yeah. on a show and really is, embodying mm -hmm. what it is that you want to yeah it's clearly it when it's done excessively in intent and you know that the look is looking up to make sure you're looking you know there's no authenticity to it but when i watch a handler trying and and the dog is happy and the tail is going back and forth a million miles an hour and there's there's not a ton of perfection but they're working it and working it that's handling that is a connection and it's good to see. And whether the dog is their family pet dog or whether it's a substitute, I don't know. But 
um, you can't help but smile because you know their energy is there to, to do well. And they may be new at learning or they're working up the ladder or it's a new dog or training or whatever the case. But, you know, when you see that intermittent affection of petting or the smile, there's actually, when you're, even though we're intense to win and we often forget to smile when we're showing, that's, you know, I'm queen of that. Um, there's a, a time of that authenticity where you watch them and they do something with the dog and they give the dog a little bit of a smile. You know, that's, it's as the connection's still there. It's just calm. You know, they're keeping it under wraps. They're keeping it professional because they're in there to try to win. 